afternoon guys my name is Prince Ngu and you are watching the Prince Ngu show and um, today I'm going to introduce you to a topic that I'm very excited to talk about um, and this topic is actually it's pretty new to me because um, I've been doing a lot of research for the last couple of years um, trying to sort of solve a problem that um, that I thought um, was a finite problem but uh, the more I delve deeper into this problem I started to realize that a lot of other things began to unravel and I began to get a lot of other insights that I did not foresee okay um, so uh, the previous episodes I sort of introduced you guys to uh, my hypothesis on um, on uh, the universe and how the universe expands and and um, and uh, sort of the, the the scientific explanation of how the universe was able to create itself out of nothing, right? Uh, it was able to replicate itself and, and, and evolve over time, right? And I explained how 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 before the universe began, they they existed this this this, this intelligence in the universe that that, that 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 exists at the fundamental level, right? And 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 the moment time began. Time became the first constraint of the universe, right? And and because of time, uh, our universe is uh, symmetrical and 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 and, and in, in 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 contemporary physics, the the physicists actually um, uh, call this supersymmetry of the universe, right? So the deeper we go into the universe, when we get to the core of the universe, we we learn that 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 the universe is supersymmetrical right and this further goes to sort of prove my, my my theory that 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 the universe is expanding in two directions right expanding in the material direction uh, evolving and creating material the material universe creating humans planets plants galaxy stars everything material at the same time the universe is expanding in the other in the opposite direction uh, known, uh, in the immaterial direction um, and in that direction it's creating immaterial energy but the thing about the immaterial uh, energy is that is that it doesn't evolve over time to create material it, uh, it actually doesn't evolve at all it actually remains constant it remains it, 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 it's only constrained by time alone right so essentially this means that the reason why humans are constrained to 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 our dimensions our world is because is because we've been uh, is because our material energy has been sort of constrained by so many different constraints beginning with time and then compounding over time till now that uh, that that in a way we're stuck in sort of an intergalactic grid of our existence right and, and, and if we would like to sort of access that immaterial aspect of ourselves because we exist in it's a dualistic aspect of our existence uh, we'll have to essentially go back to the source point to the point of origin and from that point from that zero we'll be able to then go into the other direction of ourselves and we'll be able to access the infinite aspect of ourselves right and this infinite this infinite energy that exists is the energy of, 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 of everything that exists today it's 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 one it's a it's a it's a unified energy of the universe right and 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 this is this is so beautiful because um uh, uh as i began my studies uh my intention was actually never to sort of solve this sort of monumental problem that has been facing uh society humanity for uh, thousands of years right it's sort of like the idea of how did we get here um who brought what what brought us here what's the motivation and what's the end goal right and, uh, and, 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 and and that wasn't my intention. My intention when I began sort of sort of exploring exploring uh, exploring this sort of this, the topics of, of physics and philosophy and and uh, sort of unifying all the sciences. Um, I, 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 I came into this into this into this field because my goal was to understand myself. My goal was to quantify myself. Um, uh, but one of the things that I've been doing since I was 17 years old was um, I had a startup uh, in college when I went to Boston University. Uh, the startup was known as Lender, and um, the goal of it was to democratize and sort of um, democratize and localize a currency um, that was universal uh, and allowed people universally to be able to have value and sort of sort of interact and partake in the global economy, global market, because even as a child I realized that uh, 
people have a lot of potential uh, around the world and, and, and because of the constraint of their location, the constraint of blah blah blah, all these different sort of arbitrary constraints, they were, they were unable to sort of really maximize themselves, right? So that was my goal as a 17 year old kid in college. And um, as I grew older, uh, this sort of this 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 this, this company evolved, and uh, uh, it eventually became a, a company that I started 2017, uh, known as New Globe Utopia. And New Globe Utopia's goal is to uh, is to build the mathematical tools to help people maximize their potential in an ever changing market of the world, um, where today you, know, you can have a job and tomorrow an entire industry can collapse because of something like a pandemic, right? Or 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 like or something like artificial intelligence that, that automates sort of everything and, and, and it's gonna be responsible for sort of collapse in capitalism in itself, right? So so the goal of my company was to do that and, and as I started exploring this sort of how would I quantify a person, how would I quantify them scientifically and sort of help them maximize that potential, this immaterial thing that we all know of, right? So as a kid, people will be like, oh, you have so much potential, don't squander it. Right and and did you ever like think about like what is what what did they mean by that, right? What was the what like how come people have this this innate understanding of potential, but but no one understands how to quantify it, right? So that was my goal. And when I started exploring that, that sort of world, it opened my mind to 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 to, to studying physics, studying um, the chemistry, studying computer science. Um, and, and, and I, I, I sort of went on a journey of independent study uh, to, 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 in a way, study myself, to in a way quantify myself in, in the grand scheme of things. And this led me to a, to, 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 to a lot of great discoveries that I'm going to share on this journey with you guys. And, this, uh, and, 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 and I've gotten a lot of insights and, and, and a lot of doors have opened for me mentally. Uh, and, I'm, and one of the doors was, 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 was sort of the, the, my theory about sort of how the universe began. Right. So, so, and the thing that allowed me to be able to get to a point of understanding sort of how all these things could come together uh, was because I wasn't confined into one sort of one career, one one uh, field of study. You know, uh, I'm, my, my my diverse search, my diverse um, my diverse interest uh, led me to sort of play with different mediums led me to understand the way sound works my 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 my, my experience with music uh, allowed me to, to to play with sound and play with waves visualize and my experience with computer science allowed me to 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 understand how to model things in three-dimensional reality you know my study of physics allowed me to understand how the physical world works and my my, my, my study of chemistry is all independent studies allow me to to, to understand the subatomic world, right? And, and, and I became so obsessed, I started studying the quantum world and all these interesting aspects of, 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 of the world and, and, and as we go deeper and deeper and deeper into it. And, 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 and I, I got great epiphanies. Uh, and one of the epiphanies that I got was, 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 the, was the epiphany that helped me solve uh, this problem that has been sort of posed, has been um, sort of, um, has been, has been, stressing out a lot of physicists for, 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 for decades and decades and decades and this is unifying uh, uh, um, uh, the theories of the universe right because because right now we have two major theories the theories of of, 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 gravi of the gravitational field the theory that helps us understand the material world right that's where Einstein comes in with e equal mc square mm -hmm. and the other theories of electromagnetism and 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 and, 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 and strong nuclear and, and weak nuclear forces that, 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 that are immaterial. We can't perceive this, you know, like the electromagnetic force, for example, right? And, 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 and we have uh, quantum electrodynamics and we have quantum chromodynamics. Uh, these, 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 these different fields of physics allowed us to sort of unify those, those immaterial forces, right? And, but the one thing that we never were able to, to do until now was to unify the material universe and the immaterial universe. Right, and the reason why it was so difficult for the scientists of today and the past to do this is because um, it allow it, it it forces us to 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 
be open to the ethereal. It, it, it introduces us to the immaterial. It introduces us to to something that 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 that, that a lot of scientists uh, classify as mystic. Things that uh, something that they, they consider unscientific, right? And and the only way that we can unify the material and the immaterial universe is 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 essentially by unifying um, um, uh, by unifying um, the tangible and the intangible by unifying by unifying um, the subjective and the objective. And, and, and this goes beyond mathematics or beyond physics or beyond chemistry. Um, those fields of study were specifically to understand the constraints that were applied to material energy, right? But once we get to the point of understanding the material energy, the, 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 the logic changes. And exactly that, we go into a logical framework. We don't go into a, into, into a mathematical framework or, 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 or physical or, or chemical framework. We go into a logical framework. And it's from this framework that the entire universe evolved um, to become what it is today. Um, and, um, and, 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 and this understanding is, 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 is so crucial because, because this knowledge has been missing for thousands and thousands of years. And, and let me explain why. Um, as I started studying uh, the theory of everything and, 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 and began my quest to sort of solve this problem, um, I realized that sort of everything that we're experiencing today uh, is a culmination of, of everything that has happened in the past, right? And, 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 and religion kept coming. Religion kept coming to me. I, I started to realize that that uh, religion is not as trivial as I once thought it was. Uh, religion uh, uh, um, is the remaining is, is is the remnants of the schools of thoughts that existed thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago, right? But here we see what the problem is. The problem is that um, a lot of the knowledge that, that was passed down from our ancestors has been either misinterpreted or has been intentionally altered with, for a purpose. And, 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 and this is a monumental uh, discovery that I made. And here's the discovery. The discovery is that um, the theory of everything, the solution to Einstein's problem, um, the solution to uh, unifying the material and the immaterial, the uh, subjective and the objective, um, the left and the right, um, the, the, the dualistic aspect of the universe, um, the, um, this knowledge is the oldest knowledge in the universe and this knowledge gives the individual the power to create their reality. This knowledge gives the individual the power to tap into that infinite energy in the self, to tap into that oneness. Like I said before with the example of the drop in the ocean, the individual is just a drop in the massive ocean. And if the individual can tap into that ocean, they can manifest everything. They can have access to this infinite energy source and they will be able to manifest anything, right? And, and, and in essence, because man is energy himself, uh, man is himself a god. And, 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 and with that, man can create his reality, right? And, 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 I, and with my studies, I, 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 I realized that with the fall and the collapse of the ancient African empires, that, that uh, all the way to the Egyptian empire, that's the most recent one that we are familiar with today, that, that the remnants of their, of their existence um, remain somewhat intact today, uh, six, 7,000 years, 12,000 years later, um, uh, is, that th that, is that this sort of school of thought was the school of thought that persisted on planet Earth 
prior to the existence of the Abrahamic religions. And, and, and what I realized was that this sort of ancient African ideology uh, um, that, 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 that existed pre-Christianity, pre-Judaism, pre-Islam, which are all Abrahamic religions. And all these religions are just reinterpretations of this original story, this original, this original, not a story, but this original laws of the universe. So the ancient Africans weren't religious. Pre-colonialism, they were not religious. They understood already that they themselves were energy beings that had the ability to harness this energy and manifest their reality, right? And, 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 and what happened with the Abrahamic religions, uh, which include Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, it's like these religions, um, what they did was they came to the person, and instead of telling the person that you are in fact an energy being, you're a God, and because of, you, because of this energy in you that you're made of, you have the ability to harness the infinite energy of the universe and create your entire existence. They came and told people that no, you in fact are different from yourself, which is the God. You are different from consciousness. You are different from this infinite energy. And to access this infinite energy, you have to go through the church. You have to go through some sort of ritual. You have to go through some sort of, uh, some sort of um, um, uh, 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 sacrifice, something. It's, 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 in a way, um, I realized that this was a way of hijacking this energy that these beings possessed, right? So if every human, every being is an energy being, and every being has the innate ac ability to access this infinite power within them, to access infinite energy and create this universe, right? To manifest this, this universe because we are energy beings. Uh, if someone is able to convince you that you're not, and, 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 and they're able to utilize you, then, then that means that that person essentially is able to enslave you and use you for your energy for as long as you remain unaware of who you are. And, and, and this is something that when I realized this, it completely changed my perception of religion. Right, so I, b b before this, I, I considered myself an agnostic individual, where, where I, I wouldn't say I'm religious, but I wouldn't say I, 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 I'll be surprised if a God that exists. But today, after my studies of the unified field theory and my studies of unifying the, the subjective and the objective and the material and the immaterial, uh, I've come to realize that, that, that religions are proxies designed to hijack the energies that man is innately made with is to hijack that energy and utilize it for their own good, right? So if every being on this planet is a god because of how they're innately made and they're convinced that they aren't and then they're utilized for a different person's goal, for a means to an end for someone else, that is in fact what slavery is. Right, and so the other day, uh, so I, just so I can relate this to sort of what's going on with America right now. The other day, um, um, or I was thinking uh, about slavery in, in, in America, right? So what did the Europeans and the Americans do to the slaves they stole from Africa? What did they do? They rebranded the slaves. They ripped them of their names. They rip them of their identity. They rip them of who they are. They told, and then they told them who they aren't. And then because of that, they were able to utilize them for centuries and centuries and centuries and have them farm on farms and, 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 and build their civilizations, right? And then, and then I was thinking about, thinking about like, how would an African-American individual, because me as an African, when I came to America, um, I came with two sort of, I came with a different sort of pers perspective of the West, right? So when I came to America as a teenage boy, uh, I, I didn't read, I didn't, I didn't come in with, uh, with, a, with a complex that, that I was going to sort of 
deal with racism. I never even thought about racism from all my life until I came to America, right? So before I came to America, I already had developed my perception of who I was. I already lived in an African country with African culture, African people. So I'd already developed a strong sense of self and I'd already attached myself to my identity that goes back thousands and thousands of years. So after I came to America, no matter what someone tells me, they cannot convince me and tell me what I am that I'm not, because I know what I am, right? And, 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 and that's fundamentally uh, what slavery is. Slavery is, slavery is, 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 it did not only happen to black Americans. Slavery is happening to every single person on the planet, right? Because every single being on this planet is an energy being. Every single being on this planet is a god. Every single being on this planet has the ability to harness the infinite energy of the universe. But because of all the constraints, whether artificial or natural, that are put on these beings, they're unable to utilize and use themselves to their full capacity for their own good. But they're being utilized for other people's good. And this, 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 this happened to the whole continent of Africa. Pre-colonialism, Africa didn't have Abrahamic religious religions. Africans were traditional religion. They they they, 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 they were monotheistic, and 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 and, and, and they, they understood that they were in fact the energy beings that existed, and they had the power and the ability to harness this energy. But post-colonialism, after the, the Jews, the, the Judaism and Christianity and Islam started to spread around the world, um, um, they convinced people that wait a minute, guys, you're not gods. They went to Africa, you're not a god, you're, you're, you're a sinner and you should repent your sin by coming to our church and asking us, the middlemen, to God for forgiveness. And if you ask God for forgiveness, he might forgive you. So they convinced people that were gods, that they weren't gods. And because of that, they were able to use the energy that these gods have within them, essentially hijacking them. And 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 and, and been using them for thousands of years, right? So 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 the most recent version of this that we've seen is the exploitation of Africans in America with the slave trade, right? And and but in a more grand scheme, it's the exploitation of Africa as a whole, right? It's the it, it, it's it's the exploitation of Africa by the introduction of 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 of, of Abrahamic religions that have no place in Africa and 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 and, and are, 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 are in, in a way in a way they intoxicated the continent of Africa with 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 Eurocentricity and and the African continent is completely drunk right now uh, and, and and for them to be able to recenter themselves and 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 and, and move forward we have to go back to understanding who we are as 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 energy beings as gods as beings that have the ability to harness the infinite power the infinite energy in the universe and manifest and create anything that we dare think of